Hey, Dr. Laura Berman here, and we've done it for the guys. I wanna make sure we do it for the women. What are the four things that sexually literate women have in common, okay? In order to be sexually literate, here are the things we must know and have integrated into our system. First of all, to know how to claim consent. That means don't get caught up in that story that you're supposed to be swept off your feet and it's weird if someone asks if they can kiss you or if it's okay to touch you here, okay? Part of our personal sexual empowerment is claiming our bodies as our beautiful, sacred sexual temples. And anyone who gets near here had not only better deserve it, but needs to claim consent. And that means we have to claim consent as well. And consent goes both ways. The second one that sexually literate women must do is to release the shame. Unlike guys who often have shame um, for being kind of sexual predators, women have shame just around being sexual just around having sexual needs. And this isn't just for the women over 35. This is all women who struggle to express their sexual needs in a scenario, who struggle to claim their sexual needs, who don't know how to ask for what they want and often don't even know what they want themselves, which brings me to getting orgasmically informed, knowing that it's primarily in the movies that partners have mind-blowing orgasms at exactly the same point in time, okay? Or assuming that orgasms only happen with intercourse or, sh or you're somehow inadequate if you can't have vaginal orgasms, okay? The clitoris is the key place. Remember the guys to be sexually literate, whether you're heterosexual or homosexual or somewhere in between is to be clitorate. Women need to be clitorate too. You have to know where your clitoris is, know that it's the center of your sexual pleasure, know that only 30% of women reach orgasm through intercourse. And if they do, it's because they're having their clitoris stimulated at the same time. Okay. So understand that orgasms usually happen through things that are called foreplay and not necessarily through intercourse. And if they do happen through intercourse, more often than not, it's because you're getting simultaneous clitoral stimulation. Now related to that is my fourth point that sexually literate women know, and that is they know how to be masters of masturbation, okay? You must be in touch with your own body. And if you are a parent of a girl, please normalize masturbation. Guys often get this very early in life because their stuff is out there. Girls tend to discover it later. Do not shame your daughter for exploring her body. Help her learn that those are her private parts and no one else should be touching those other than her or mommy or daddy or whoever to help you bathe. But those are your private parts. It's fine to touch them. It feels good to touch them, but it's something you do in private and you make that normal. And as she moves into adolescence, you make it normal that she's gonna have all this sexual energy and sexual feelings and it's a way to love herself, to learn about her own body and to discover her own sexual pleasure. So she's not gonna be carried away in a sexual scenario with someone else. She's not gonna think someone else is in charge of her sexual response. And if she goes out with some people and gets turned on or you know is into it, she can go home and take care of herself. So it's actually doing her a service, not only in terms of her safety now, but in terms of her later life, if we normalize masturbation, and if you are a woman who was raised or to be shameful about that or don't know, look at yourself in a mirror, identify all the different parts, the labia, the clitoris, the vaginal opening, the whole thing is called the vulva, not the vagina. The vagina is just that internal canal and learn how to stimulate yourself. Stay in touch with yourself because our sexual response changes throughout our life and we need different things in order to get turned on, different kinds of stimulation, different intensity. So when you stay in touch with yourself, you're helping learn about yourself so then you can share it with a partner.